I asked myself this question, do I ever want to be perceived as male? And the answer was an immediate no. <laughs> it was just too real. I'm still her father. I'm just a woman and a dad. I am a caregiver for my partner, Melissa. My boobs are 2200 cc's. I sometimes wonder if I want to go bigger. So these are my hormones. This is a, a testosterone blocker that a lot of trans women end up on. It helps us increase our estrogen levels and trying to get the T out and the E in. It's been about a year and a half that I've been taking my hormones. I am planning on getting bottom surgery. Basically, you have the testicles removed. My doctor has told me if I get those removed, she can probably lower my dosage of testosterone blockers or take me off it completely. And less medication is, of course, always preferred. And yeah, I have zero attachment to those girls so they can go. You know, I'm a big girl, so I just like down them all at once. <laughs> it just changed everything in a way that I could never have anticipated. It has made a world of difference in the way I feel. My name is Maxine. I am a transgender woman and I am a veteran of the United States Air Force. My mother really wanted me to join the military. I was raised in a very sheltered, conservative household. There's Afghanistan. Honestly, don't have very fond memories of my experiences there. I was in a culture that did not accept me. This picture, one of the last pictures of me before I committed to my transition and I wasn't happy. You can see it, I can see it. So my boobs, they are 2200 cc's each, somewhere in the neighborhood of a 42 double J. I couldn't be happier with the results that I got from my breast augmentation. Why this big? I see this as something empowering. That exaggeration of the feminine and what it represents. Bob Ross always talks about it being relaxing. Yeah, I kind of feel that. It's a way of me expressing my femininity in a way that's right up front and really obvious. When I started cross-dressing, I was still in the military. The way they wanted their men to behave was very specific and I was not at all that kind of person. Like if I was Mia's age now, with all the information that's available now on the internet, I probably would have done this a lot sooner. She came out when she was nine because she was surrounded by so many positive influences. Alexa, turn off the kitchen light. Being bisexual and having a transgender parent around helped immensely. We can finish the season. Oh my God. If my dad had never transitioned, I probably would not have come out as soon as I did. I don't think I would have been able to do that without the other LGBTQ figure in my life who, you know, I knew was going to love me no matter what. She and I are so similar. We have such a unique personal relationship because of how similar our brains work. There was never any need for me to change what I called my dad because my dad always said, you know, I fathered you, so you can continue to call me by that name. See no reason why a trans man couldn't be a mother and a trans woman couldn't be a father. I'm still her father, I'm just a woman and a dad. People have sometimes assumed that I am attracted to men because I'm female now. Or people approach me online going, oh, do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a husband? And it's like, I'm gay. <laughs> it's just too real. I'm a caregiver for my partner. A really big common misconception comes from the nature of my relationship with Melissa. Nobody wants to assume that we're a couple.
her. I can kiss her in public. And people looking at us like trying to understand what this means and how does this happen. I am Vestibular Dystrophy. I met Maxine um, through one of my good friends in high school. This is Melissa and I on graduation day. We go way back. She was my best friend. Really, nothing has changed. It's just now we're happy. We're going to Mission Beach to roll around on the boardwalk. I'm not dressing this way to blend in. I present to stand out. I saw my dad, and that's how I see her. Chocolate vanilla squirrel in the uh, ice cream bowl. It's really just everyone else's perception of who she is that changes people's opinion. There are always haters. There are always people that love to share their opinions. That's their opinion. They can have it. This is your struggle, not mine. <laughs>